What's up guys? Uh, filming a little vlog for you today and um, gonna kinda go over some stuff that we've been working on here at the gym. Uh, as you can see, we've had some wall mats behind us. This is on our uh, blue mat side. Uh, the other side is called the red mat side. Uh, as those are the predominant colors of the mat, okay? So, um, we added some wall mats, got uh, some uh, logos up here. Uh, this is gonna be where we're doing our filming for our YouTube channel, okay? Uh, for, you know, any videos, we're still kind of working on some uh, things over on this side. We got a couple more vinyls to add to the wall. But um, we've got a super high grade professional light. I'm not gonna like, well, yeah, you know, but it's up here, it's mounted to the ceiling. It's ready to go. Um, I'm gonna go over some other things. This will be one of the last videos we probably put out that uh, we're shooting on either an iPhone or an iPad, right? So, um, <clears throat> so been uh, doing a lot of logistics on uh, really being able to get videos out and get content out to our members and to people just subscribing to our channel and uh, growing our audience, right? So, <clears throat> um, and in doing so, we're trying to up production value uh, and uh, bring you guys uh, really quality content. Um, and uh, some lighting here, uh, my friend Michael Sandow, also known as Jerry Bruckheimer's nephew, look it up on the internet, IMDB. And uh, he is always uh, kind of consulting for me. He's uh, helped me with my podcast studio and uh, some other things. So um, he and uh, one of our blue belts, Michael Asseter, you see in a lot of our videos, uh, helped uh, select this light and uh, install it. So um, thanks to those guys for that. It um, looks really great. I'm looking forward to uh, starting to use it. So uh, we're, we're looking on getting more of a, like a, a stationary mounted position with our new camera here. We've got a GoPro 4K. Um, it's a hero. And... Um, Good camera. I have not uh, uploaded any videos with it. Just kind of shot and played around with it. Uh, I've got a basic little tripod here. I am looking for a mount that we can fixate to the ceiling, kind of like um, what we've got with our light here. Our light kind of pulls down. We've got um, a triangle arm that the, um, uh, the light mounts to that we have mounted to the uh, ceiling. So, uh, but this is this little uh, cool little tripod. It can actually uh, go completely straight. Uh, you, can, you can use it kind of like a selfie stick in a way, right? A little aluminum uh, tripod, lightweight, but very sturdy. Uh, has three little knobs on it you can uh, turn. I really like the uh, viewing lens on this GoPro. Um, it's got a, a nice wide lens. Uh, I think it's going to be easy to set frames up with. But we're looking on a couple of different mounts. Um, we not saying we won't ever shoot videos on the other side. We may. Uh, but um, we're trying to have uh, better lighting, uh, more consistent shot, and things like that, okay? So for the GoPro, um, I got this adapter. It is um, so I can use an external microphone, okay? So that's another thing. We're trying to bring uh, better sound, okay? Uh, better lighting, better sound. This plugs into the GoPro, and then <clears throat> 27 chords later, no, but there's no latency or anything on this. It sounds fine. Um, it, it is uh, unfortunate that I couldn't just go straight from the mic into uh, the GoPro. I had to get this little adapter, but uh, the GoPro is not gonna be the only camera we ever film with. I use a Canon Vixia from a podcast um, at home, and um, <clears throat> I'll uh, share with you guys kind of some of the logistics I've been doing with um, my other podcasting and uh, YouTube channel. Right, so we got an external mic here. It's a little clip. Got this nice little pop filter, little cover for the mic, slips over, okay. But this is just a Rode or Rodee. Don't really know which one. Uh, very high grade mic. A couple of my friends uh, recommended it and have used it. Um, it has good sound quality. Definitely boost uh, the quality um, that uh, above and beyond what's on any camera, right? So also, uh, I can use this on my Canon Vixia uh, with an adapter, thanks Apple. 
I can use it on my iPhone and so on. So it's a good, it's something good to have in the toolbox. Gives you better sound quality, better than you're listening to right now, right? Uh, so that's something that uh, we're bringing into the mix. Uh, so better lighting, better sound, uh, better picture quality. So going to uh, the 4K on the GoPro. And um, <clears throat> some other things we're working on, as many of you know, I've been uh, teaching history uh, full time, uh, which full time means like 180 days a year, off in the summers. Um, it's a great job, right? Um, went to uh, went to school uh, to become a historian and was able to like land a job that fits very well within my gym schedule. Uh, this first semester was kind of un unexpected, and I kind of inherited a schedule. Next semester, I've been lining out all these logistics um, within some things I'm doing. I haven't podcasted much for Life Unraveled podcast in uh, several weeks. I've been remodeling my studio, right? And also setting up a studio in my office at UACCN. That is uh, the name of the college where I'm working, okay? So I'm gonna kinda go over some things that uh, I'm doing uh, within that and uh, let you guys uh, kind of follow along. Uh, if you haven't, subscribed to Life Unraveled podcast on YouTube. Uh, I have a uh, MMA and Jiu Jitsu show. Uh, we d I just do series where we break down, um, we've even done boxing only, we're, uh, where we're watching fights, just you name it, right? So MMA Unraveled, Jiu Jitsu Unraveled. If you go to Life Unraveled channel though, we got playlists there, uh, the playlist for, um, uh, all of that is under Sports Unravel. Okay, so let's keep watching that. Um, eventually, uh, it is my goal to move the Sports Unraveled into a room here at the gym. We are planning on adding on at the gym, um, and um, it uh, in doing so, we'll have a little extra space in this. So we're adding a 60 by 60 uh, addition to the gym. Okay, so um, it's my goal to eventually be doing uh, all MMA related talk uh, here at the gym through that podcast and have a third studio essentially and then be rolling out technique videos just like we're, we have been and discussing. I think we're about 300 videos on our YouTube channel across boxing, kickboxing, judo, jiu-jitsu, MMA, all that. So. Um, also, I do a music unraveled where I, you know, we go see a lot of concerts this weekend. I'm going to hear Henry Rollins give a talk. He's recently been on Joe Rogan, Church of What's Happy Now, other podcasts. He's doing a little tour, um, and you know, um, we go see concerts. We review them on the podcast, or we talk about albums or bands. Or I've got a record player I've been getting refinished, and we're going to listen to uh, vinyls and. All sorts of different stuff. So music unraveled. Um, uh, I think I'm about 65 podcasts deep or something like that on the Life Unraveled channel. But um, so we got just Life, Life Unraveled. I have just various guests on. We talk about various things, uh, life-related topics. Uh, thus the name, right? Um, and uh, in addition to that, we do some um, music and uh, TV show reviews. Right, just catch a good Netflix and chill binge sesh, review that on the podcast, right? Um, so then uh, at my studio at, uh, that I'm setting up in my office where I teach the history, uh, I'm doing History Unraveled. I've been delaying on rolling that out um, just to kind of get, like I said, uh, kind of the theme of this video is just telling you guys about logistics I've been doing. So in, um, in that studio and then kind of to go back and forth I'll kind of go over some equipment I have a blue Yeti that I use to record podcasts and lectures um, it's just uh, the uh, the like the base model um, and then I also have a blue Yeti Pro that I can hook into a mixer okay so I have a mixer uh, at both studios and um, they're USB mixers uh, and then I've also a couple of upgrades if I got a Tascam DR40 digital audio recorder, right? I can hook my external mic into this or I can hook the digital audio recorder into a mixer. So any mic signal I'm sending into the mixer, I can also send into the digital audio recorder. Um, the Blue Yeti Pro really adds a lot of versatility on what you can do. Um, and hooking it into a mixer, you can't do that with just the regular Blue Yeti. So 
But um, the, the History Podcast, it's going to be audio, it's going to be video, um, getting um, software, uh, IT is uh, uh, waiting patiently to get uh, some audio video software installed by our IT uh, department. I'm going to be um, podcasting in there at least once a week, and then I'm always going to be doing audio lectures and things for my students outside of that. But it's going to be my goal to release one History Unrivaled podcast. And then one Life Unraveled podcast, whether that be a Life Unraveled or an MMA Unraveled or uh, music. Uh, but it's going to be uh, rolling out a couple of podcasts a week, right? A history theme from uh, my office there and also a, um, <clears throat> a Life Unraveled spot in my other studio. Okay? Also look for videos here at the gym. Um, Michael and I, we get together and film every week uh, just sharing techniques and We'll um, continue to line out other um, uh, filming, striking videos and things like that. Judo, we're always trying to put a variety up for you. Uh, so uh, keep watching, uh, subscribe, and um, check out our playlist, right? We try and put things in playlists for you. So if you want are looking for guard pulls, you can go over to guard pulls and bam, you're, you know, you're there. So, um, but that's kind of an overview of some of the stuff we got going on within the gym, uh, some stuff I'm doing with podcasting. Uh, I think I uh, once heard um, Maynard James Keenan say this, um, and he said uh, the reason he's able to crank out a lot of things, put out a Perfect Circle album, Pussifer album, and not a Tool album, by the way, is because he doesn't get in his own way. He always works out logistics. And um, that's uh, a big thing is like, you know, um, I, there's been things I haven't undertaken while getting other affairs in order. And uh, so there's like a, a priority or hierarchy of needs um, that we focus on. Um, and I think that uh, it's, it's really coming together. Um, it's my goal uh, by, uh, to really start cranking out more material for you guys. And then in 2019, to be um, having consistent spots, same schedule. We're pretty much working on the same schedule, teaching, history, and uh, so on, uh, schedule that I've made to accommodate all of these changes that we're talking to you about uh, for next semester. So keep tuned in, subscribe to Life Unravel podcast, subscribe to the Forza uh, Martial Arts and Fitness YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, all that. Uh, you can contact us, let us know if you'd like to, um, for us to film anything for you on the channel or uh, so on. Uh, you can uh, hit us up through uh, instructor at forcemma.com, website forcemma.com. So thanks for watching uh, our vlog, everyone, um, and we'll see you next time.